Thank you for subscribing to the Chippy Tour. It means a great deal. And for those who haven't subscribed yet, it would only take you a second to hit that button and hit the bell to get notifications when I publish new videos. And share the channel, share the videos with your friends. It would go a long way with me. Thank you very much. It's a brand new channel this year and it needs all the help it can get to get out there. took a little drive up to Blackburn today to Holly Tree Fish and Chips and it was an experience to say the least over the next couple of days I'm going to be releasing a video to show you how I do my ratings one to five and why I don't do fractions and why I don't do one to ten and so on right so hey we're up in Blackburn and uh, we're trying a few different things we've got a few surprises here and it's at the Holly Tree Fish and Chip Shop. This is called a Haggis Pour Over. Now I've never had haggis before. I've always been reluctant because of the content. You know, it's all bits and pieces. Yeah. Actually it smells really nice. Let's give it a try. And it's got chips with it. So it's a haggis, haggis meat or haggis mince or whatever it is and chips you know what that's quite nice hmm what else have we got? This is the famous John Bull. And it's two slices of potato. And inside is a savoury mince. And then the whole thing's deep fried. So let's give it a go. Actually, I'm just going to cut this in half. So we can see what it looks like inside. And as you can see, a very thin potato. So let's give it a go. Oh. All day long. That is delicious. Oh, I'm going to finish this up. You know where the other half fell, don't you? You know where the you know where the haggis and chips went too. So what else have we got? But okay, I'm going to go into this fish and chips before. I don't need to sit in the bag too long. We're only here around the corner. Is the shop, and you know what? Now they're my chips. Let me give it a go. You know, reviewing the most popular chippies that I've done up to now, and I've only had, I think it's a three star, a four star, three five stars up to now. I mean, I'm going to be perfectly honest with my reviews. You know, I'm not, I don't know anybody that works here. They don't even know I'm videoing here unless someone's gone in the shop and told them. So my wife left. I left my wife in the shop once the order was taken. Once the order had taken place, and things started to proceed, then I left her to collect it in that bag. So I came back here to the car park at the side, and I've ooh, and I've set this thing up. And that's what I, that's what we try to do. That way, there's no messing about, and everything we can still say stay as warm as possible. Which means I better eat this now. No. Try to think of it.
That's quite good. Just excuse me, I'm giving this some thinking about. Tell you what, let's try it with a bit of uh, spicy curry. Try a chip first. Try a bit of this fish. You know, that's a really nice, a really nice curry. It's just got a little bit of a, a little bit of a spice to it, but not, not um, chili, not a strong curry taste. There's just something going on there, which which makes it easier to eat for most people, I think. Back to the chips. I'm still, I'm still umming and ahhing over the fish. It's really nice. Is that my excuse? To eat a little bit more? Hmm. And now we're going to have a little look at these. This is a battered Mars bar. Put that in the bar. Yeah, that's okay. Mm. This is a battered cream egg. I could have kept going. Some of the things they have in here. They are sweet anyway. It just gives a little bit of a a little bit of a savoury. It's like having it on a sandwich. It takes away a lot of that sweetness, but it's cream egg. It, it's going to be sweet. Now, as you know, I'm not just here to rate certain items. If I was, the John Bull would be the winner, hands down, from what I've just eaten now. But I'm not. I'm here to review the chippy the staff, the service, the food, the fish and chips primarily. It, it's got to be on the fish and chips every time as well. So there's a lot goes into it. And I like the idea of all these little um, different recipes, different foods uh, to sample. So I've got to think now how I rate everything, how I rate everything together. Okay, so it's back to the computer. We'll have a look at some of the reviews over the last year. Two or three reviews of different different star ratings on Google. And then I'll add my own. Holly Tree Fish and Chips. Holly Tree, six pine wood, Blackburn. And it's rated at 4.3 with 334 reviews. So we've got a two star here five months ago. Just been in and bought large chips and curry sauce. Won't be going again. Very overpriced for curry sauce that didn't even taste of anything. And a large bag of chips that didn't even feed one. Won't be going here again. Here's a three star. Had good fruit from here in the past, but last couple of times, standard not as good. All batter came off fish due to being wrapped in paper. Chips were overcooked and dried up. Daughter's steak and pepper pie, what yeah, does that sound? Had very little steak in it. How bad does that sound? Five star. By mistake, I ordered two king size haddock. Oh my god, absolutely huge, however. So, so good. Personally, mine will definitely be a king size haddock on my next order. Although my wife Aileen really enjoyed her king size haddock, she struggled to eat it all. So the next one will be a large haddock. So you've got different sizes of haddock there, which is great. What a super chippy. Now let's have a look at mine. We embarked on a journey to a traditional fish and chip shop to try some of the unique dishes they had available. I could have spent a considerable amount of time admiring the walls, which were decorated with fascinating food items. 
The chipping was impeccably clean, and the staff were extremely friendly and accommodating, even offering two small fish as a gesture to compensate for the unavailability of one larger fish that day. However, I was quite satisfied with the small fish, which to my surprise wasn't as small as I expected. The chips were exactly to my liking, thick and flavourful, accompanied by some crispy, shard-like pieces for an added crunch. The John Bull was the standout dish, so delicious that I regret not taking a few portions home with me. The battered Mars bar and cream egg were exactly as one would anticipate, making for a delightful dessert. And of course, I must mention the haggis pour over. This was my first time eating haggis and it was tasty. Overall, it was a great adventure. So I recommend if anyone fancies a bit of a drive one day, one evening, and they're not a million miles away, give it a go. See you on the next one.